Hello and welcome to another episode of the Big Question with SNG. I'm Adar. This is Kautuk, and uh, these are people who uh, are actually important. Uh, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. So, Harshvardhan Kapoor and Vikram Aditya Motwani are here to talk about their movie Bhavesh Joshi Superhero. And our big question is: What is it like to actually make an Indian superhero movie? Ha so so guys you guys have uh, made bhavesh joshi superhero okay yeah. great name bhavesh joshi is that <laughs> it's, it's the most indian name you could have yeah. come up with for a superhero <laughs> did you guys think of that did you guys go like i need i'm pretty sure they wrote the script and they thought of no no as in like did you like particularly <laughs> go like we need a name that sounds bhavesh joshi as no it was <laughs> was it rahan it was it was a it was retrofitted it was a friend of mine in school who for some reason you know many when you in school you always call guys by their first names or their last names right. the only guy you would call by his first and last or oh, double ha yes. uh, double kind of thing which really happens right and sometimes it just sticks those names just get stuck in your head so Correct. just like when i was writing the script I'm like what name to give it just stuck <laughs> it was a temp title which just became everybody's like but it's a great title i'm like are you serious <laughs> but it happened yeah, so Uh, so, so, uh, so uh, okay so now if we uh, to talk about the superhero like uh, we were we were talking about this in another podcast like this is the golden age of superhero films mm. but that is hollywood like we have always had our superheroes as mahabharat True. so <laughs> it is not like something that it's inherent to indian culture and there have been attempts and there have been uh, if we don't let's not talk about those <laughs> but uh, ajuba like, yeah ajuba ajuba was awesome. ajuba was a great cult ajuba movie. was great it is like uh, i could buy a 15 rupee mask and be ajuba that was the kick for me like i yeah. could buy that golden mask and i am ajuba <laughs> Rishi Kapoor <laughs> hidden cleavage in that movie. Vikram and uh, Harshvardhan, so they are uh, releasing a movie called Bhavesh Joshi uh, Superhero. Is, is, did I say the title right? Or uh, yeah, is that's it? Are they? Yeah. yeah. So uh, any more words? No. <laughs> there are no more words. June first. Yeah. June first. <laughs> So like so we're going to talk about like because uh, again this is uh, we saw the trailer and it is uh, I think uh, like what if there was a guy who genuinely tried to help people and what would happen uh, so uh, like what what was your thought process behind actually coming up with the because you know this is an uphill task we already are aware so <laughs> no totally actually the, the the in all seriousness the script actually started from so the the source is having lived in Bombay my entire life mm. and kind of seen the city change blah 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 you can like there are and if you drive in bombay it's like it's it it yeah. does make you really angry you know yeah. to sort of like saying i want a mask i want to stick and i want to go to you know beat up the people <laughs> i think that's everybody's sort of like dream kind of thing so it, obviously it started from there it started as a yeah. thing of like okay here there are small things that that bugged the crap out of me and i was mm. like i want to make a film about this so it was a story about literally a guy in the street <laughs> um you know okay yeah. he's living in a street and it's a really nice quiet thing it's a one way and suddenly one yeah. chai stall comes up which turns into like hell and then how he sort of like goes there and tries to sort things out this was the origin story yeah which then over my producer said this is you can't do this <laughs> <laughs> yeah where are the gamma rays what yeah, is yeah, happening what are you doing right this is super yeah. film was wrong with you so like uh, <laughs> spider to chahiye spider to minimum uh, like <laughs> eventually it sort of like you know it became it became it uh, over the period you know over the years it it became something which i think so part of it was there and part of it was my just love for the comic books and love for the superhero films uh-huh. and, and that sort of stuff which is then turned into something which it is right now so i'm not quite sure what it is right now <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, okay this is something rare that we hear uh, because we see a lot of bollywood films and we end up seeing a lot of uh, bollywood interviews you just said it took years it took <laughs> it, it, it took years to make the scripting which is very new i don't i've never heard this uh, please explain more <laughs> it's when producers tell you get out get out <laughs> that's why it takes years to get things made but um, like wh- what is the origin like can you t- tell us a little bit about the origin story like is this is this like a is a, it's a origin story superhero thing right yeah. It is yeah. It's an origin story superhero. It's about a it's about a guy who basically wants to sort of like do the right thing, which is like with any superhero, Haan. right? And Haan. it's just so um, vigilante or superhero. Vigilante. Vigilante, no? Batman is. Batman is. He doesn't have powers. <laughs> 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 no powers. <laughs> Batman is is actually correct. I think I'm just mm. I've been so massively influenced by Batman. the comics and the frank miller's comics and also yeah the frank miller comics 100% yeah they're fab they're amazing yeah. and yeah. i mean definitely nolan's version of uh, yeah. what he did i think changed the world and Correct. changed all of us like wow what is this there was that phase where every film had to be nolan like you know yeah. all the superhero movies had to be dark yeah which is such a like terrible thing to do uh, 
yeah. especially because like not everything deserves to be dark like some of it just has to be fun popcorn no not everybody's yeah. nolan yeah so i think exactly that, uh, exactly yeah. i think if we had that discussion nolan ruined the dc universe to a point yeah, that they yeah. could <laughs> never <laughs> get back <laughs> from that. he just Killed made the, yeah he made that yeah. standalone movie as yeah. like oh shit we could we should be doing franchises and yeah. then they're trying to do so it but um, so uh, now is there a franchise idea here like you guys want to yeah, is there like, a- but Like try is there a Bhavesh right. cinematic universe? People yeah, Bhavesh cinematic universe <laughs> happening. People <laughs> give Bhavesh us money. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I haven't even thought of the sequel. I mean, we've yeah. been sort of like, yeah, we we refund it once in a while. So end credit scene nahi hai isme. It's huh? just like post credit like post credit scene. Ek hai, it's very short. Okay. Got yeah. Was got to do the film. I had to do it. Yeah. I just felt that yeah, there had okay. to be post credit scene just to tell. It's like just a producer going, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bhavesh <laughs> Joshi will return. <laughs> well, no. the idea is that Bhavesh for the sequel is that I haven't told you this, but the idea is that we do thirty years later and your dad wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Mister India, bro. Oh! <laughs> you been hanging out with Boni Kapoor too much? <laughs> <laughs> so how much? Uh, okay, so now your um, do uh, how much of a uh, uh, like. Um, Uh, he, the hero's journey okay let's just go from a writing perspe- uh, perspective because uh, uh, or could they, uh, like i don't think this question has been asked uh, so far in the uh, all the press junket interviews that you've been doing uh, what was the feeling harshvardhan playing superhero <laughs> yeah that's, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so what I, I, that's, uh, yeah i i get that a lot <laughs> yeah so what what okay so what do you like you want to bang something you want to hit like throw a chair at them or what because no, it's I, the I, same question over and over yeah i i mean uh, to be a, Honest, I I don't I didn't never really saw it as a superhero film as such. It's, it's, see it more of a, a story about a real guy that's mm. in extraordinary circumstances and and makes a brave choice that not a lot of people make. So so Singham. <laughs> 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 Basically, yeah, yeah. Ah, so a bijli ka khamba nikal ke just go crazy. <laughs> So, okay what uh, as far as uh, writing something like this goes now we we are a little geeky on this when we go with okay chal uh, let's take a template like the hero's journey so is there uh, some is there a sort of template that you kind of try to stick to or you kind of okay you write your first draft and go like oh does it fit in this do i have the beats here do i have my challenge here do i have my so do you try to do that I would not, not, uh, not so much as putting out them, pulling out them. The yeah, 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 yeah. And sort of like mm, kind of huh. compare it. I think a lot of it just goes by instinct. Like you, I think once mm. you watch enough movies mm. in the genre and just generally hero stories, which pretty yeah. much every film after a point is. Right? Correct. So um, you tend to there is a pattern that you tend to following. That the hero is always reluctant. There's yeah. always a moment that you know there is the yeah. calling that actually happens. The call to action happens. And then you've got your plot points and stuff. And I think after a point, once you've seen enough movies and sort of like done enough scripts, you those things you know intuitively. Mm-hmm. Intuitively, and then when they don't happen and something's wrong with the script, you realize you haven't followed that pattern. Actually, mm. Mm. that starts to become that. So, uh, but you have to do one other thing, right? Which like Hollywood doesn't have to do. Like you have to write to the interval. interval Did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have to exactly like an in Infinity War. They just randomly cut at any yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very awkward. Yeah. Thor hammer ban. Yeah, uh, kya? Achha, so, <laughs> popcorn. Jamla, remember the, the worst interval point I saw was while watching. Uh, um we was a we was a James Bond the good James Bond from Skyfall of the recent ones and it's where uh, our man gets introduced in the halfway point of the film right uh-huh. um what's his name i don't remember the villain yeah uh, the spanish actor penelope cruz Javier 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 So there's a big moment if you guys remember where he's walking from like far away yeah. and coming 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 halfway through that they cut it like, <laughs> oh <laughs> dude <laughs> the villain's introduction and halfway through not even like either cut before or oh, cut after, after. Yeah. it's like halfway through he's talking and it's like interval and it's like yeah. this is yeah, yeah, yeah i but, really love those long shots like people when they do that and this like uh, i really liked it in the grand budapest hotel where he runs and it's just him running and this is the longest shot with yeah. him and the cops running and it's just them just going there it's like fuck this is a really Even long the shot the party python opening yes the guys is running around here it's okay yeah. <laughs> that's great ha so but okay so indian superhero problems did you guys like tackle like did you think of it that way like i have to like indian superheroes like did you guys like when you're coming up with this I mean, there, there, was a, there, was a, there was a scene in the film uh, that I don't think it's there anymore, but uh, where we kind of 
the, the characters in the film talked about if American superheroes were uh, uh, or in India, or in yeah. India, the problems <laughs> that they would face, yeah, like yeah. how the, yeah. the Batmobile would get stuck at Chu Circle. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know? yeah, that, that kind of stuff. Like Iron Man, Iron Man would like he land and go through the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Superman gets stuck in the tar. Yeah. Superman gets stuck in the tar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Batman would get stuck at Chu Circle because water. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Captain America shield pekega kisi ke ghar mein gaya. Aunty chilla rahi hai. Kaun laaya ye? This is really funny line where he said, you know, Alfred would call and ask Batman and tell. Batman where to go and Batman would listen to him and he would say Saki Nath and Batman would be like fuck that bro there's too much traffic I can't do it I want a good sequence where they're all like uh, hello huh no no you go east no 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 they should make like a mahabharat cinematic universe you know they should introduce yeah, every that would be very cool i yeah? think yeah, yeah. that would be very which cool. is what i think together. the original mahabharat was i'm pretty sure like <laughs> 500 saal mein something stanley like, making cameos i'm sure like in 500 <laughs> years this is going to become like very serious religious text like you saying something against <laughs> iron man is like that <laughs> amount to like dude it's happening it's yeah happening. it's happening it's already happening so, like you so, say yeah. something against one superhero there's an entire cult of people yeah. who no, get pissed I, off I, I we, we have to tell them this so we do uh, on the podcast the big question we we've done like superhero movies we've mm-hmm. done infinity wars that kind of stuff and we get we've done other lots we've done about 100 episodes lots of serious topics but the comment section blows up every single time yeah. we do a, uh, a Marvel, Marvel movie. DC kind of yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. i are chutiye yeah. log you don't know anything ye hai issue number 89 mein That's how comic book fans are. They're yeah. really passionate. Yeah. yeah, more passionate than like the religious guys. It's amazing. You I don't know. Just, yeah. I think if you want to just see the, the state of the world, go to YouTube comment section or like what used to earlier be. Yeah. Remember the IMDb when they used to have comments. The yeah. IMDb comment section used to be, oh my god, it's like Fanatics. how dare a Englishman direct a Japanese movie? Like, well, calm down, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. So uh, my friend, he he saw Logan and he's like, I want that body. Okay, I want that body. His name is Sandeep. Okay, <laughs> he's just a guy who lives in Pare. Okay, <laughs> so he's like, I want this body, and he looked it up, and it turns out, uh, what's Hugh his Jackman. name? Hugh Jackman, Jackman goes yeah. to the gym twice a day. Mm. Okay, yeah. has like eight meals that yeah. are like more than whatever he has in a heavy, day. Heavy Crazy, yeah. Yeah, and 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 then he does dancing and like eight other things. Mm. So that's his job. Yeah, like Logan is what he does for a hobby. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean. And, and Sandeep can't do it now because Sandeep is a CA. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine, imagine what Christian Bale goes through when he is like every single film he get becomes fat and, and then he becomes ripped and then he becomes thin. Oh, thin. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's his day like job. His that's his day changing job. Changing his body. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's his day job. Everything no, else is just anymore. a <laughs> thing you do when you're not doing the real thing. It's scary. I think हम लोग का काम बस है. I think I work out just to be able to stand on stage for two and a half hours or something <laughs> to do a show. Guys, like, oh, चल ठीक है. I don't want to be drenched in sweat after I, a show. I that got is my motive. So that my T-shirt doesn't stick to me after. the gig <laughs> yeah. yeah here's the other thing okay so i want to talk about like cgi that's like a huge part about superhero movies that's one of the like the the highlights said right? uh the the fact that you have these action sequences that just blow up the world so do you guys do you guys have that in the movie no like, we don't blow up the world we have some blow up yeah. <laughs> blow up and we can afford to yeah. yeah we can afford to yeah uh, i think it's wo thoda aukad mein reh ke I remember my my I was making so we have a we have a pretty nice bike chase which is actually in the film which will be shot on all over the you know skywalks and streets and railway platforms and stuff there. I remember going to my producer before that and saying that uh, and I just seen Jason Bourne the day before we were about to start shooting. Oh, like, nice. They shot for 22 days and they busted 70 cars and they're yeah. like and she's like you get six days <laughs> and you can bust one car. <laughs> so it's kind of like awkward me reke kind of stuff and it's not. It's not a it's not a CGI film in that. It's sense. not that kind of okay. film. It's a it's a realistic film. It's an action film. You know, sort of like pretty. It's action heavy, uh, but it's all like streets and and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. So, it it yeah. takes the idea of if this if this was really happening, what would it be like? Yeah. Uh, Jodie Foster kind of st- goes like uh, recently. I think I read it uh, uh, that superhero films are killing. Cinema. Mm-hmm. Now, now this is an actor that I've again grown up like as much as I like. I would uh, agree yeah, with that. Actually. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like there. Yeah. So her logic was that the preciousness of this mo- uh, like, yeah. like a Lutera, like a uh, Udan. I. 
it should be counted as precious as a Marvel movie. That's that's her logic. Right. I think that's where she's coming from. Like that six hundred should be worth that movie also. Yeah. But right. you also have a massive point, which I agree you, with more. I, I kind of feel like it's the people that are in charge of the like. For example, in the nineties and stuff, you saw a lot of Hollywood films uh, that got really really good solid financing mm. with original ideas and new stories. Mm. Now it's all about franchises, sequels, right. or superhero right. movies, and it's very exhausting. For I mean, at least for a viewer like me, I'm I'm probably a very small percentage of that but i really look forward to like the la la lands and the mm. Mm. which are also like reasonable budget films but they're like th- that's classic hollywood that's like la la land is huge though technically yeah. Yeah, but those are prestige movies, right? So yeah, it's like right now, what's, quite, what's probably going to happen is that besides the blockbusters that Marvel and Disney do through the entire mm. year, between I think and between I think Star Disney, Wars the animation, Disney. Star Wars, and Marvel, you've yeah. pretty much covered the entire sort of yeah. stuff. Then there's the prestige stuff, stuff that Nolan would do, stuff that Tarantino would do, or mm. stuff that Oscar would be Oscar bait. That yeah. yeah, that would sort of like come out. But besides that, it's all yeah, digital. It's it's all how much of how much of this film actually sort of like when is the last time you saw a Little Miss Sunshine, right? Mm. Which just like really broke through, yeah. and you know cracked through. And that kind of stuff is happening in TV shows. Exactly. Yeah, yes. They're kind of migrating to like the good storytelling. It's yeah. Just just Lady, Lady demand, Bird right? was Lady Bird was the Lady one Bird was, was, Lady the, Bird. was the Little Miss Sunshine of last year. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. even yeah, exactly. But Lady Bird wasn't as I don't think it was as huge as Little Miss. Little, Little, Little Miss Sunshine sort of like seemed to transcend mm-hmm. yeah, 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 time true, a, a lot of. So right now, but also the on-demand world, right? It's like you and in your home or your iPad yeah, or, or your whatever, in your rickshaw, whatever, like yeah, whenever you want, you can watch it. I'm not. I mean, I, I hate to see the fact that people are watching my film on a cell phone, but. It is. That's watching what it is. They are. <laughs> I worked for I worked for five years for him to watch this in a rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> at least ah, he's yeah, watching yeah, it you've man. taken that perfect frame ah yeah. Ah, yeah dolly 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 and dolly. if he's watching it in a rickshaw it means the film is damn good <laughs> if he's taking the effort to watch that but I mean I, ah, think, I think also think as an actor this whole film has been shaky cam mein shoot kiya hai. Also, <laughs> I think as an actor it does filter into decision making also mm. like for example when you read a script you know and there, there's, a, there's a couple of scripts that I've really liked recently I'm like this this doesn't really have theatrical potential you know what I'm oh saying man. like you put in the but PNA, story could be amazing great a film you definitely want to do you start to think that way you start to think that way like I think mm-hmm. Bhavish Roshi is a big screen experience it, it really nice. is it's Bar- basically uh, yeah. Nayak and Neo Noir <laughs> 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 with more violence <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with cooler action but yeah, yeah. But that, it Nayak was the, also a great vigilante film no it was a really good film it's yeah. one of my favorite yeah. films I yeah. still watch it on like the, the cinema the, the whenever reruns, it comes the yeah. of that film are mad I'm yeah. mad Everybody uh, says, every Sunday yeah. Nayak yeah. is playing on some channel and yeah. I will watch it but, that, but, yeah. but then again Shankar is like a, a yeah. prestige director right yeah. he's yeah. like he's like the talent one of those top no, but Shankar is like yeah, Sivaji is like amazing yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. Like a great vigilante film also yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 he comes back as a god and stuff guys but pretty young man yeah man like I think it's it I I forgot that this man lives in a chawl in Nayak and suddenly he's throwing a Maruti 800 and I am fine with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was blown by that film yeah, when yeah, I saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, and I I love it every time I see it. It's just so well done. It's very captivating. That, that's it's a skill too, you know, to make the hyper real feel <laughs> real. You know, that's very hard to do. Yeah, it's not easy. I think that's the the one of the really cool things about the way that this film is written that it's so grounded in reality that yeah. you you really feel for the you know the conflicts that the character is going through the choices that he has to make and the yeah, sacrifice right. that comes with each of the choices that he makes. Correct. Uh, you know, so you'd be really explored that part of no, the human side. No, and that's what makes that's what makes like for me like that's that's what makes a superhero relatable and in, in a like Peter Parker is my like alter ego superhero like mm. thing because I get it. Like the thing he's going through, I've gone through that, and I get where he's coming from. Oh, so तेरा भी spider के साथ हुआ था। Puberty में बहुत webs निकाले हैं मैंने। That's the exact analogy, right? He's like, Aunt May, don't come in right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the exact. It's white. Yeah, yeah. The, the first Sam Raimi film was really good, man. So good. Mm. I liked Homecoming so as well, man. I thought Homecoming was yeah, great. Yeah, I liked Homecoming. Really liked it. I really liked Homecoming. No, 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 no. The latest one, Tom Holland, Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland. Yeah, that was really cool. And it was a, it was a perfect update to today's world. Yeah. Like just the kind of shit that you would have in today. And I think here, okay, you guys are also doing another thing that's rare in the genre, which is that you're doing the movie first. And hopefully a graphic novel after this. Yes. Maybe, no? maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we, we've oh, been so that's that. fun! I didn't know this. Yeah, this is awesome. Right. So you're doing it the opposite way, like because we don't have a we don't have our a comic source. book culture is sort of our comic book culture is Amar Chitra Katha, right? Correct. Which is what then yeah. leads to Bahubali. Yeah. And yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a natural progression yeah. of it to yeah. sort of like go that way. 
Um, whereas, I mean, if you look at it with with uh, Superman, Batman, Spider Man, they were yeah. all sort of like born in the 1930s, pages. out of like Correct. from the pages because oh, society was bad and too much huh. corruption, so you needed a hero. It took 40 years for them to make their first film. Someone is, I don't know who was doing who was saying this, but basically it's this that. You can't... It's not the technology that makes the movie. It's technology that serves the movie, right? Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Jurassic Park is not amazing because the dinosaurs are real, yeah. realistic. It's amazing because the story was really well told. Yeah. And the villains happen to be dinosaurs. Yeah. Right? I think that's the... The first Jurassic Park is still so much be- better oh. than anything that's yeah. come out from that Damn. series. Even The Lost World, to a great good. extent, yeah. was very yeah. good. Until the they was got it to yeah, San Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I really like Jurassic World. I thought it was... Like, I had fun again. I had a lot of so, fun. So, okay, it comes down to like... Uh, okay, Homecoming. Like Homecoming, uh, there's a lot of uh, self, uh, self-referential storytelling that has started happening. Like you took, uh, you take Deadpool, you take Homecoming for an example. Uh, like he runs through the suburbs. Yeah. Spider-Man like, uh, needs the buildings to yeah. swing. Yeah. Yeah. He runs through the suburbs and then they cut to Ferris Bueller's day off. Yeah. So stuff like that. Like, have we reached that point in Indian movies where I can, if I'm doing a superhero movie, reference Shahinsha? or reference an older movie but do we have that reference do we have that in pop culture yeah, I don't think any of those films really have become a yeah. part of uh, of that you know pop yeah. culture yeah Yeah. not I mean Shansha and Mr. India yes Mr. India yeah. Mr. India, Mr. India to a big extent Mr. India to a big extent, extent. Yeah. extent but uh, yeah but beyond that nothing I don't think uh, also really besides besides Krish really at the box office none of them have really mm. worked mm. beyond yeah. that uh, so the superhero film hasn't really worked I think the the Tiger Shroff one didn't or the, the yeah the um, Flying Jet. Flying Jet. Flying Jet. Yeah. There's a lot of them that haven't. A lot of them, yeah, and the, so I guess the attempts, and maybe maybe it's because we don't have that ethos of actually creating a, maybe we should just stick to Amar Chitra. Yeah. I shouldn't <laughs> be saying that, but because Pabesh Shoshi first June. I really do hope it's an honest comment <laughs> we've had on this podcast. <laughs> It's so <laughs> genuine, like, hey, yeah, yeah, this is... <laughs> like, no, and you came to the realization while you were saying it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, stop. wait, I have a time invest in this picture. I was saying I really do hope that, uh, I don't know how how wide this film is going to reach out. I mean, you can never predict that, mm. right? That's only after the film comes out. But I, if it does reasonably well, then I think, you know, people will automatically start creating comics, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe our uh, st- story ideas will come from that, you know. Mm. I think that's the, that's the, th- if that happens, that would be the really cool That would thing. be the, yeah. The that, would, that would mean that we've succeeded, content. you know, like, I mean, already on, on my social media and stuff, I have so many people sending me fan art that nice. I keep sending him and that's yeah. exciting. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. You know, that makes you feel good, that's like, cool. you know, so, so that's the. That's really cool. Yeah, uh, we get fan art, but uh, somebody <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Somebody put my head on Wonder Woman and said it. It was, it was a really awkward fan art. Like I like that you like my work, but this is just weird. <laughs> Did you block the person? <laughs> no, it's like thank you. I had to share it because Aki yeah. fan is. <laughs> it's just, like I don't want to lose that fan. The superhero costume. It must be getting really hot in Bombay, no? Uh, <laughs> Man, you have no idea. And we shot this film. We've shot this film in all seasons. Yeah. We shot this film in peak summer, huh? in the monsoons, in the winter. So, huh? and we've shot it over a long period of time. And behind that mask it's really hot humid right? there's no ventilation mm-hmm. and plus I have a beard oh man <laughs> and you breathe hard enough that's the fog up so you can't see shit see, yeah. like, oh, so it, oh, man. it came with its own set of challenges and the mask actually evolves through the film I don't know if you've seen the trailer yeah, 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 paper yeah, bag yeah. mask and you know hmm. there's a, there's a with the lights with the lights there's yeah. a cloth mask yeah. at one point and then there's a couple of masks that you know but so it was very hard that seems so realistic the, the paper bag? No, no. Because they paid money and then they bought the LED. Right, huh. Because what happens is, uh, origin thing happens and then the superhero just invents the costume and it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like you want to no, see... No, this is not that film. Yeah, yeah you want to see <laughs> shitty iterations <laughs> until you get to the real... No, no, there are, there are. This is, there are shitty iterations, there yeah. are like just bad costumes at some point yeah. in time. It's only like at the end, like, oh, okay, fine. This is what the vision is. That's right, that's right. That's right. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cool because it goes with like the, the emotional growth and the growth of the, the character through the film. So. Huh. No, but exactly. Right? I would imagine the, the biggest problem that a superhero in Bombay would face is sweat. <laughs> like yes. That would be the number one thing. Yeah. Is I this like drenched. Right? Uh, drenched, drenched, drenched. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sweat, yeah. So I, I, sweat, traffic, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pollution. pollution. How, how yeah. is it like like if you're shooting in the middle of the street and like if you're just shooting a normal scene? People in <laughs> yeah, Bombay, you shot in Bombay and you see a camera and just I don't care. I'm shooting. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. No, experiment. Just like at one point in time, just like stand and look at a building. Just, just <laughs> look up like that. I'm not joking. You will have people come. Is that how you did it? 
No, we actually like that to distract people. Like people come and say, "Hey, come, come. We 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 do a we do a mini unit where you know not yeah. in the making, like these cameras where yeah. not, nobody knows the difference, right? So like, I like the pointed to, uh, pointed to our cameras and just send <laughs> these cameras. Ah, yeah, yeah. Wale. <laughs> That's gonna get us such bad comments right now. <laughs> get better cameras. Get better cameras. <laughs> the mic's already fucked. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, so you, we actually just do that. Like, you get a B unit you know, to decoy. You get a B unit to decoy. Like, huh. just go, go B unit to decoy. And actually, we've had them sort of like pointing to the people and saying, "Ah, ye kora, bokra." They get involved in that. You can actually shoot in peace. That's oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones does this. They shoot yeah? fake scenes to put off paparazzi because they hide in the oh, bushes and, and shit. Spoilers. They literally shoot fake scenes with characters that are not going to be there in the script, put together <laughs> nice. in full costume with nice. scenes written. Like the actors don't know whether these I scenes don't are think legit. Anybody cares about a film that much. <laughs> 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 on that note, <laughs> Bhavesh Joshi, yes, yeah. Bhavesh Joshi releasing on first June. Still so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's all from the big question. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming out and talking so to us so genuinely about uh, this. Uh, and uh, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, I had nothing more to add. No, we'll, we'll do a post credit scene. Yes, we'll do a post credit scene <laughs> where we say ke make part two, and he's like, "Tumhare paas paisa nahi hai," and he walks <laughs> out the door. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you. See you.